I'll attempt to capture this dog. Ready, Pepper? Get it! It's the last time I buy anything off Wish. Good afternoon, longtime viewers and new. Today, we have a bit of an oddity. Uh, it's a metal, tin, aluminum, uh, quick ball with supposedly three packs and, well, uh, a coin in it. I highly doubt anything good is in here. It says it may include XY, which, as we know, is pretty ancient, but uh, may well get lucky. As a tangent, <laughs> See how it's a bit flat here on the bottom? Right there. It's not great. You can't tell greatly with the plastic on it. Um, it's funny because back 50 years ago, uh, when I was in high school, I tried to design a Pokeball soda can for a calculus class project. Now, doing integrals for a sphere, fairly straightforward. Spheres with bits cut out? Um, not so much. Actually, from what I understand, a sphere is already the most optimal shape to hold volume vis-a-vis -vis surface area. Well, so, if we were just doing a sphere soda can, we wouldn't have to figure out anything, now would we? Uh, and here is the calculus to prove it, actually. Now, as we know, a circle has a fairly straightforward equation to integrate. Uh, x squared plus y squared equals 1, or y equals uh, the square root of 1 minus x squared. Not exactly easy, I suppose, but what the hell is the equation for a circle with a bit cut out of it? Let's try, say, uh, x squared plus y squared, in parentheses, minus 1 eighth, to represent cutting off 1 eighth of the bottom. Now, that doesn't work. It just serves to make the circle a bit bigger. Uh, because x squared plus y squared now equals 9 eighths. Multiplying or dividing by something does much the same. I tried to call my astrophysicist friend. Hey Elliot, can you do my high school calculus project? No. I couldn't find an appropriate answer. Let me know if you find something. I've been thinking about this problem for literally 10 years now. Anyway, calculus and this is why I open card packs for uh, 20 people on YouTube now. All right, let's pop this puppy open. Looks like the plastic's coming off fairly easily, actually. I'm just gonna make sure not to pop it open. All right, here we go. Oh, it comes off nice and slowly. Perfect. Uh, this tin might actually be worth something. Let's just put that aside there. And, and let's see what we got. Let's see. First we got this coin with... What's that? Dragonite on it? It's kind of cool. And then... Ooh, we actually got a Vivid Voltage, which is good. A Rebel Clash, which is also good. And then we have... I haven't even heard of this... Um, this release, Cosmic Eclipse. That's probably ancient. And Piplup and Blastoise on it. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Here is Cosmic Eclipse. They're all a little bent, but let's see. There is a code for you guys. Let's try the old one, two, three to the back, take off one. Okay, good. We got the same sort of idea. We have red and blue tag team. Uh, we have Celio, Bisharp, Flabebe, uh, Sveal. Natu, Palpitoad, is that Reverse Hollow? No, this is a Reverse Hollow Lily, which actually has a pretty nice Reverse Hollow pattern going on. And a Raichu, nothing special there. Here's the Vivid Voltage. Let's see, who do we look for in this? I think there's the Black Charizard in this, the Black Rare Charizard. I'm not expecting to find it, of course, because they usually weigh these things out before they send them, but... Hey, you know what? Maybe we'll get lucky. Code there for you. Um, one, two, three to the back. Take off the steel energy. We got a stone energy. Sometimes the energies are worth something, but I don't think one like that is. Shuckle, Cramorant, Sandile, Oshawa, Pineco, Clefairy, a tadpole again, 
uh, Yanma, uh, reverse hollow, and we have a hollow Genesect. I kind of like that. That looks okay. Um, okay. Here is our Rebel Clash pack. I think we're looking for a big Pikachu in this one, but I could be messing up my things at this point. Either way, it's kind of a newer pack, so it's fun. All right, and there's your code. Let's see. Uh, and one, two, three to the back. Any steel energy from the looks? A yarn metapod, a burning scarf, Oleana. I'm not sure, but sometimes the trainers are worth something, especially if they're uh, simp cards. Growlithe, uh, Roly Coley, Metatite, Rubbin, Electabuzz, a reverse hollow Pokeball. And nothing. Well, let's see. We got a few reverse hollows. Uh, we got our holographic Genesect. A couple of cards that might be worth something, probably like in the area of 20 cents. We'll add them, though, to the uh, count at the end to see how much money we get. Um, and let's see. We also got the tin, of course, and the Dragonite uh, coin. Um, so... Uh, for the price, uh, I don't think we did great, but that's okay, because we got a calculus lesson as well, free of charge. So, uh, until next time, uh, I've been Cringe Sona Guy. Uh, check out the stream, and uh, catch you in the next video, gamers! <laughs>